of all the movies you've done, all of them from 90s to here we are today, uh, what's your favorite movie? Wow. Now, that's a tough one because whenever, whenever someone asks me about a movie, I know the person's asking me about the movie that they saw. Right. But when I think about the movies, I think about my experience on set. Okay. Um, because it's really hard for me to watch a movie over and over and over again. And it's, it's really hard for me to watch anything with myself because I'm always cringing, worrying about the choices that I made. So I'm never relaxed. Right. So I always relate it back to the experiences. And I would say, um, I would say The Best Man was one of my favorite uh, experiences ever. I mean, the movies are all kind of like my kids. I, right. I love everything about all of them because it's a part of me. It's a part of my experience in the industry. Um, but The Best Man, I had the best experience. Do you ever watch a movie with yourself and like, I should have done that different. I should have. <laughs> not, there's not there is not th that's why i can't do it it's, it's really hard there's not, there's not one thing that i've ever done that i said okay cool i mean let me drop the mic not one not one even you know i i cringe when i watch some of the stuff now because of the choices that i've made but uh but yeah you know it's you know like i say it's just i'm just fortunate it's just a blessing to to you know to to uh to, to haven't been able to do this for such a long time all right, I'm going to name some of your movies, and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. okay. Story. Okay. Higher learning. Higher learning. John Singleton, Omar Epps, Ice Cube. I, I like that movie because we got to work, we actually worked with a track coach. Okay. And one of the things that I love just about being an actor is because we always get to work with technical advisors for whatever we're doing. Right. And um, and I got a couple of workouts from him at that time. So I, I remember I remember working with the track coach, the rehearsals. The Ernest Green story. Ooh, wow, wow. Oh, you want to take me back there, huh? <laughs> the Ernest Green story. Interestingly enough, the Ernest Green story um, I had a great time in, in Arkansas. But I go back, Eric Lanaville, who directed that movie, was at the start of my career. And I've done some real estate stuff. What I remember most about that movie, I'd say it's always about the experience outside of the movie or the right. show, is Eric Lanaville at that time, uh, he said, listen, you know, you're just starting your career. Um, he says, buy yourself a duplex, live in one half of the duplex, rent out the other duplex. You'll always have a place to stay. So I just remember his, uh, his sage real estate advice on the show. <laughs> uh, two can play that game. <laughs> two can play that game. Uh, Anthony Anderson and I had a had a had a really good time on that movie. Just laughing and having fun with Anthony. Anthony, that was my that was my first time working with Anthony, and I knew right up in the at the very beginning of the rehearsals that this man will say anything. You know, there's nothing <laughs> that will embarrass him that we can say about me himself or anybody. So. Uh, I, I, I enjoy working with him. And I love working with Viv. I mean, at that time, Vivica and I had done a, a, a television show mm -hmm. together prior to that movie. And so when we came together there, she was just, uh, she's an incredible actress, actually. Mm -hmm. Think like a man. Think, <laughs> think like a man. Now, that experience was, uh, I just think about Taraj. So Taraj and I had worked together prior to that movie. Mm -hmm. And just playing that role opposite her, um, the one thing that I, is Taraji Henson. I mean, she is one. She is one of the, and I know everybody knows this, but the finest actresses that I've ever worked with. Um, I, matter of fact, when she she was in Not Easily Broken, she played my wife. And at the time, she I think she had done Baby Boy, and I forgot what the other film that she had mm -hmm. done was. That everybody knew her from. And I said, listen, I want you to, you know, I, you know brought her in after to play my wife in this movie because I knew that she had such a high level. So I really, I really appreciate, even just in that short time in that movie, all of her talent. What about Girls Trip? That's one of my favorite movies too, Girls Trip. <laughs> Girls Trip, you know, so uh, uh, Tiffany Haddish, she is- she That's is her just, breakout role. That's her breakout roles. I worked with Tiffany. I did a stage play with Tiffany. And uh, in the stage play, it was one of the touring plays that I did with her. Her character was, she killed it every single night. She has some stuff in the bag that nobody's seen yet. And when she breaks it out, it's, 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 it's going to be something. 
do you feel you've played a role that maybe you should have gotten nominated for an Oscar? Or are you waiting for that role? Um, let me see. I, I can say this. Nah, I can say that I've had some, I, I can't really say nominate for an Oscar. I mean, I, I think that I've had some, I've, I played a role and I won't say what it is because I want people coming at me, but I think I played a role to where I've exhibited a range of, a range of emotion. And um, I think it should have gotten recognized as something, but again, it's not really, I've never really, my goal has never been to get nominated because that's always something that, you know, as an actor. That's objective. That, that's out of your control. It's out of my control. So my thing is I just want to just keep doing what I'm doing, whatever job I get, do it to the best of my ability and keep it moving. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.